Next into the tank is mechatronics engineering student, Benny Tong. My dream since when I was a child was to build robots. The thing that fascinates me about robots is that it makes people's life better. We can change this part, or like you say, we move it out a little bit. Yep. My product has already changed my life. I believe that it can change many more people's lives and help them. Hello, my name is Benny Tong. I'm a student engineer from South Australia. I'm here today seeking for some great business advice and if possible, $20,000 for 10% of my company, Bisong, which also includes our first invention and any products that we create in the future. So, what is our product? Our clock is a robot designed to wake up the user only without disturbing anyone around them. It does that by gently tapping them with a moving arm. <laughs> the r clock is actually the first of its kind in the world. <laughs> Given that r clock has the ability to wake the user with touch and or with sound, it actually can be more reliable than other alarm devices. r clock is also ideal for people who live as a couple but have different wake-up times, or for people who live in a share room or share house, or even help parents wake up their kids in the morning. <laughs> Do we have some brave sharks here today who would like to try for themselves? Here we go. Glenn's always looking for now, a nap. I just want to make sure I don't get my eye poked out. <laughs> no, to be honest, after five years of testing, it never happened. To just give that extra insurance to parents, we include a phone ball on the end. OK, so I don't get my eye knocked out. So where do you want me, in bed? No, no time, Glenn. Into bed. <laughs> oh. <laughs> <laughs> we might never get him out. That's it, he's done. Pretending to be asleep. Oh! Oh! oh. Get up, Glenn! Get up, Glenn! <laughs> <laughs> so, to stop it, all we need to do is just press the snooze button. Okay, right. <laughs> get up! Get up! <laughs> Could you pass me one of your little men? I mean, it's cute, but I couldn't think of anything worse than someone hitting me <laughs> as I'm waking up. You couldn't sell in America. Bill would shoot it. <laughs> <laughs> Can I ask a question that we're all thinking? Is this just a horrible idea? Benny Tong has invented an alarm clock that wakes sleepers with a light tap. Oh. Get up, Glenn! Get up, Glenn! But the sharks aren't <laughs> sure the product is commercially viable. Is this just a horrible idea? It actually does work because I actually use it for five years already. All right. I'm Steve. G'day, Benny. How are you going? Mate, what kind of look one as well, please? Can uh, you grab yes. me one? And what part of South Australia are you from, mate? From Mitchell Park. Oh, yeah, Mitchell Park. Nice. Yep. Yeah, lovely. Great. So, Benny, let's get serious about the clock. 50 bucks a clock, that's the retail price I noticed on, your, on the screen. Mm -hmm. What's it cost to make? Um, $15. So it's not a bad margin. Yeah. Have you sold any yet? We just put pre-orders on our website just yesterday. Benny, $20,000 is what your ask is for, yeah. for 10% of the company, so you yes. valued it at $200,000. Yes. The $20,000, what are you going to spend it on? Mostly on marketing. Yep. And partially for manufacturing. If I was asleep and I'm about to wake up and mm -hmm. it hits me in the eye, like, it, have you considered sort of I that? have considered that. Like, the angle that it's coming down actually can't hit you in the eye because if you put it right next to you, it will just hit you on the side. Unless you're facing it. You can't guarantee that because people move in their seat all the time. I, I could not think of a worse way to be woken up. Unless I wanted to play a joke on someone. Mm -hmm. I, I don't mean to belittle your, your work, right? There's a lot of effort's gone into this. You obviously believe there's a gap in the market. I don't believe there's a gap in this market for a generic sort of run in the mill, wake you up in the, in, in the morning type thing. But, you know, as a novelty, this is, this is amazing. This is, you know, just... 
I'm out, but please, mate, keep going. You're a smart bloke, and I really wish you all the best, eh? Thank you. You're so clever. I mean, whether this idea is a, a good idea or a bad idea, I mean, to even do it, it's very clever. Thank you. But my children are, like, massive. They're six foot three, four, five, right? They're huge. Yeah. And so they have big beds. Mm -hmm. So they, all they have to do is roll onto the other side and they wouldn't get woken up. Yes, exactly. I know there's um, these concerns, so we actually have extension. <laughs> so you can actually <laughs> extend it. Oh, you see? He's thought of everything. Fair <laughs> income. Stop. <laughs> Stop. Stop. Stop it! That's, that's gentle to wake up to, isn't it? Yeah, I imagine. <laughs> I know, I'm even coming at you. Sorry about my colleagues here. <laughs> Look, I agree with Steve. I think you're, you're very clever and you've got millions of ideas. This is not the idea for me, though. Okay, no problem. I'm out. Thank you. Please tell us yes. you haven't put a lot of money into this. Um, no. Good. Good. <laughs> I love your guts and courage for coming here. I'm looking forward to seeing the next big idea, but this one I was never in, so I'm out. Yeah, no problems, thank you. At this point, I see you as an ideas guy. Mm -hmm. I do wonder if maybe you'd like to license this to somebody else who's going to manufacture and it, deliver it, so you can get on with the new ideas and you don't get distracted with running what would become a, an enterprise. The other thing is marketing is really quite expensive and $20,000 isn't going to do very much at all. As an investment, it's not really working for me. Understand. I'm out. Yeah, no Thanks. Thank you. So, Benny, you're a boffin. You're an ideas man. Really, this is a product and it's not yet a business. I think you've got to find someone to pipe you up with so you can keep incubating those ideas. And I do have a friend in Queensland who sells more electronic gadgets into Harvey Normans and David Jones than anyone else in Australia. Happy to pass your name on. But quite simply, uh, I don't think we're anywhere near yet an investable position. So, I'm out, mate. I understand. Thank you so much for the offer. Well oh, done, you're you're great. Great. Thank you. Very Good clever luck. Man. Keep at it, bud. Thank Good you. you. Congratulations. Thank you. I've got to say, it's kind of cute. Well, it's amusing Steve, so that's obviously <laughs> worth something. <laughs> I know it's not a product for everybody, but I use it every day, so I know it actually works. <laughs>